Do you know the three letters that Smash players fear? No, it's not SDI, we're not talking about Smash 4, we're talking about Ultimate. And in this game, it's ZSS. That's right, we're talking about Nintendo's leading lady, one of the best and most iconic characters in gaming. Metroid was Nintendo's first crack at a dark and eerie sci-fi title, and boy did they succeed. Metroid quickly became one of their flagship franchises and helped birth a whole genre of games, Metroidvania. Which is, by the way, like, the best genre for free. Like, like go play Hollow Knight. Like, like, right now, go play it. Zero Suit Samus became a playable version of Samus in Metroid Zero Mission, where Samus' suit and ship gets destroyed, leaving her stuck with just her Zero Suit and a pistol. That's where Samus' electric stun gun comes from. In Smash, Zero Suit Samus first appeared in Brawl, where she spawned with pieces of her power suit that she could throw. Anyways, where Samus is a heavy, high artillery zoner, Zero Suit Samus is a fast, dynamic, rushdown character. ZSS is one of the fastest characters in the game by almost every movement metric, and has tons of swift, high utility moves. Add threatening early kill setups and wild movement options to that, and ZSS becomes one of the scariest rushdown characters in the game. Not only that, but she's definitely the best Metroid character in the game, though unfortunately that's not saying too much. ZSS is also one of the most unique rushdown characters. She's got range, stuns, and even a tether grab in Zare, stuff you might not even think to put in a rushdown kit. And that makes her a popular and beloved character in the Ultimate community. So naturally, you might be thinking about trying your hand at Nintendo's baddest bounty hunter. Well, if that's the case, you've come to the right place. We're gonna get you set up with a beginner's overview of ZSS, and we're gonna do it by focusing on three core parts of her kit. Her incredible movement, her tech chasing, and her style. Before we get into it, if you're looking for even more advanced guides, then check out ProGuides.com. At ProGuides.com, you can find character guides, courses from top Smash pros like MKLeo, and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now let's get started with movement. Forget the different colored blasters or the morph ball puzzles, with ZSS, movement's what'll open doors. First, let's talk about the raw data. ZSS has the 9th highest airspeed, the 6th highest run speed, and the highest initial dash speed in the game. For the uninitiated, the initial dash is the animation that happens before the run, and it's a big part of movement in Smash Ultimate. We go more into that in our physics video linked below in the description. Those stats are uniquely good. Other fighters tend to be fast in one or two areas. Wolf is super fast in the air, but not as fast on the ground. Sheik is super quick on the ground, but not so fast in the air. Characters like Captain Falcon run fast, but have super clunky initial dashes. ZSS has it all, and only a handful of characters like Roy, Krom, and Sonic can rival the raw speed she has on every front. However, none of them can rival the mobility she gets from her down special, Flip Jump. Flip Jump is a hugely versatile movement option that ZSS can use in a lot of situations, but particularly offstage in advantage or disadvantage. When ZSS activates Flip Jump, she vaults in the direction she's facing, covering a wide arc of space pretty quickly. This move can be used to cover lots of vertical or horizontal distance and can be used on the ground or in the air. It doesn't put her into a helpless state either. That means that after she uses it, she can still jump or use up special. It also comes with an attack, Flip Kick. If you press any attack button a bit after activating Flip Jump from frame 14 onwards, ZSS will throw out a strong hitbox from her feet. There's more nuance there, but we'll get to that later. Seems pretty basic, right? Well, that's just the start. Flip Jump will move in the direction ZSS faces at first, but you can reverse its direction by flicking the stick the other way in the early stages of the move. That's the first four frames for the tech heads out there. This is what's called a B-reverse. While you're moving, you also have huge control over your momentum normally. Then, if you want more control, you can use your flip kick. Flip kicking towards your jump will carry your momentum forward, and flip kicking away will basically stop your momentum. Alright, we're getting a bit less basic, right? There's still a lot more. Flip jump can also be used as a wall jump, and can actually wall jump three times. Usually you won't be able to use it that often, but you can bounce off the ledge using this feature and smack an opponent off stage without using your second jump. Since ZSS can also wall jump, she can basically climb up stages like Yoshi's Island. Now let's get weird with it. Flip jump can also be used to cancel horizontal knockback. When the opponent lands a haymaker that sends you left or right, you can spam flip jump to get out of the knockback faster and potentially survive. 
flip jump also has three different kinds of hits. There's the footstool hit, which you get automatically by touching the top of an opponent in the jump. This buries on stage and has a small spike off stage. Then there's the leg hitbox of flip kick, which knocks away. Then there's the heel hitbox, which is one of the strongest spikes in the game and will kill opponents off stage at about 50%. This hitbox doesn't care about anyone's recovery. Flip Jump also has invincibility during its startup from frames 3 through 12. In some cases, you can use it in place of an air dodge. That's a bit more advanced, right? All those little details add up to make an already good movement into an incredible one. ZSS's Flip Kick can be used to edge guard, recover, to stay alive after a big hit, to escape juggle situations, to cap off combos, get early kills, and make aerial movement harder to read. This is why ZSS may have the best movement in the entire game. Not only does she have great raw stats, she also has an insane mobility tool. If you're just starting out, be sure to go into training mode and play around with Flip Jump. There are even more details, applications, and drawbacks to the move that we didn't discuss. Getting a feel for the move will let you make plays with ZSS. Getting mastery of the move will let you win games with ZSS. And it'll let you hear that sweet, sweet meteor spike sound all the more often. A big part of ZSS's play comes from mastering her quick and elusive movement in general. While ZSS is standing, she's tall and easy to hit. When she runs or jumps, her speed and even her jump animation can make her harder to hit. This is why you don't see ZSS's rock the Zachary stare down very often. Samus doesn't want to take hits when the armor's off. She wants to trick opponents with elusive movement and counterattack. At the start, the easiest way to do this is by foxtrotting. However, as you get better with ZSS, you'll want to use your aerial movement more often. ZSS's ground moves are more useful for knocking an opponent away or reading them for a kill. Her aerial moves are where she gets more follow-ups and damage. Your counter-attacking is stronger in the air, as is your movement. That's why you'll see pros like Mars spend a lot of time in the air. And remember to mix things up. Every option is a bad option if you use it all the time. Good opponents will punish you for running, jumping, and yes, even flip jumping in the same patterns. The goal of your movement should be to make people miss, then use your speed to follow up. Flip jump responsibly, Metroid fans. So you've started moving around and stumping the opponent. You've made them miss and you're landing counter hits. Now it's time to capitalize with tech chasing and follow ups. Tech chasing is the old and powerful art inside every Smash game. When someone falls down, they can tech, meaning they press the dodge or shield button right as they land to quickly stand up. Though teching is often the best option, it is punishable. Tech chasing is the term for following an opponent, predicting their tech, and punishing it. Nowadays, we use it more generally for following up on grounded opponents. Though the quick play highlight reels say otherwise, ZSS doesn't have a ton of long-lasting combos. ZSS can pull off crazy zero to deaths and huge combo strings, but only if the opponent lets her by not responding to her moves correctly. Playing against a good ZSS can feel like playing against a good combo character too, because ZSS keeps the opponent in disadvantage for so long. But ZSS isn't using combos to do that as much as she's using tech chasing. If you look at ZSS's kit, you can see that she's designed to tech chase. Lots of ZSS's moves will knock down, ground, or stun an opponent. ZSS has a huge amount of speed and movement tools that let her catch up to an opponent as they fall. ZSS also has tons of mid-range moves and big hitboxes that can reach the opponent as they land or cover different options. This is what makes ZSS so cool and so challenging. Unlike other characters, you don't get free damage from an oppressive combo game. You also don't get free kills from strong moves. But you do get the ability to harass the opponent and make their disadvantage feel like an electric hell. There's a lot that goes into tech chasing, so let's start off simple. When you tech chase, your goal is to cover an opponent's options. You want to cover every option, but usually you can't, so you want to try and cover the option they pick. When you get the chance to tech chase, your opponent will often have the option to tech or hit the ground, then roll in towards you, away from you, get up attack, or stand up. ZSS has ways to handle all of these options. Her longer reaching hitboxes like side special and grab can sometimes catch rolls away from her. Her grab or her stunning neutral special can punish a neutral getup or a neutral tech. Getup attack is usually the easiest option to punish since it's the laggiest. You just have to stay out of its range, hit from above with an aerial, or shield it. But for ZSS, the holy grail is the roll in. ZSS can cover an opponent rolling in with a lot of her options, including her down smash. 
ZSS's down smash is super unique. Instead of knocking opponents back, it locks them in hit stun for an increasing amount of time based on their percent and how long you charge it. So, if a ZSS knocks an opponent down, they can read that the opponent will roll in, charge a down smash, then hard punish with whatever she wants. Down smash into boost kick or up smash are two common ways ZSS takes stocks. This is why you'll see Mars and other top ZSS players often throw out a down smash near a grounded opponent. If they read the roll in, then Samus is cashing in on that bounty real fast. If they miss the read, they often don't get punished because the opponent doesn't have the time to land a hit. It's not just high reward, it's also low risk. Though it is low risk, you do have to be careful to space it so getup attack won't hit you and release it quickly enough that you can shield or dodge a counterattack. On top of all that, ZSS's crazy speed lets her hit grounded opponents before they can do anything. As ZSS, you could run in and hit an opponent or even stun them with her neutral special and extend their hit stun and get a better follow-up. ZSS is also great at juggle scenarios too. If ZSS knocks an opponent up, she gets even more dangerous. Her up smash, up tilt, and up air all have big upward hitboxes that can catch an opponent's landing. Her up tilt also has such a wide hitbox that it can also cover most of a platform. That means ZSS can cover most of an opponent's options when they hit a platform. ZSS can then use platforms to extend combos and basically up air her opponents into the heavens. This is really what makes ZSS so oppressive. It's not combos, it's follow-ups. If you fall down, ZSS is gonna be there to catch you, then dunk you into the blast zone. Alright, alright, that's enough of tech, that's enough of movement, that's enough of frame data and option coverage and all that mental stuff, blah 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 blah. Let's talk the heart, the magic, the style. ZSS has tons of strengths we could talk about. Her defensive options are great. Her early kills and edge guards are great. Her neutral tools are great. But more than any of that, she's defined by style. You look up stylish in the fighting game dictionary and you see a picture of Zero Suit Samus. Now, when we say stylish, we're not talking about those wildly impractical heals. We're talking about early kills, flashy setups, deep edge guards, ladder combos, hard reads, all that stuff. That's the kind of thing that's stylish in the fighting game world, and it's the kind of stuff that ZSS does. A good ZSS can carry a player off stage with forward airs or chain aerials into a flip kick for an early gib. A good ZSS player can read a ledge option so hard they make it look like they're controlling both characters. A great ZSS player does this stuff to even the strongest players. There aren't a lot of shortcuts to getting that style. It takes a lot of work and practice to get there. First, know your combo starters. Things like neutral air, forward air, and up air. Second, know your neutral tools. Things like neutral special, grab, zare, well-spaced fares, and quick grounded moves like jab and forward tilt to knock opponents away. Third, know your big punish tools. Things like down smash, up special, side special, flip kick, and up smash. Know that if you miss these, you're gonna get punished. And finally, master your movement. Learn to control flip jump momentum, recover from low points with wall jumps, and trick opponents with foxtrots and jumps. Then, after all that, start to learn your opponent. If they get lazy with anything, their recovery, their getup options, their ledge options, then look for a punish. If they start to show a habit, read it for a kill. That's what ZSS is built for, and that's why we see her take early stocks at the highest levels. If ZSS can read an opponent, then they might as well start asking the Space Pirates for mechanical body parts right now, because they're about to lose life and limb. If you want raw tech chases, crazy movement, and stylish outplays, then ZSS is the character for you. Just remember, that flashy gameplay comes at a cost. ZSS is super lightweight, only one unit of weight heavier than Olimar. One mistake may cost them the game, but the same goes for you. And one quick strategy to help you stay in the game is that big red subscribe button. Right there. That one. Mash that now to salvage your final stock in competitive Smash, and we'll be sure to take you all the way to the victory you want and deserve.